Professor Liu is going to teach you how to do a uh, Excel 18 module 2 assignment. Uh, for this assignment is a simulator for your future career. Anita Cruz is a trainer for Missoula University Hospital in Missoula, Montana. She is using an Excel workbook to analyze the courses she teaches and to track her progress toward the train the trainer certi certification. She has asked you to format her workbook to make the information clearer and easier to understand. So we're going to go to the second uh, sheet. It's called evaluation sheet. We're going to rename it. So we're going to second one and right click it, rename it, and uh, it's going to call Spring 2020. So in front of here, and we type Spring 2021. So we don't need to retype everything. We just add Spring 2021. I will click it, then right click it, and we also need to change the tab color uh, to blue gray text two. So that's fourth column right here. And the first one, blue gray uh, text two is this color. Let me see, blue gray text two. Yes, so we got that one right now. So number two. So we continue. So we are take a look here. Um, you know, column A looks like the content uh, is longer than uh, the cells are uh, width. So this cell is too small. So we're going to use a feature called auto fit. We put between our our uh let's put uh this uh between A and B and double click it. So it auto fit for us right now. So once we did that, then continue to do this. Let's go to E. Looks like E is also uh too small. There's a word is go beyond the size. But then we're going to learn different way right now. So we're going to right click on E right here. And now we are going to say column width and change the column width to 15. So that's another way to fix the size. So we got this right now. Uh, next one, we are going to do this. All right, so let's go to uh, A1 to E1. Okay, that's uh, A1 to E1, A1 to E1. E1, okay. So first of all, um, we are going to have a um, uh, we are going to have a title cell style. So that's coming here, and to do the cell style here, <coughs> okay. So the cell style they want it to be title. So let's pick title. Mm, title is right here. Okay, so that's a title right now. All right, then the font size. Okay, sorry. Uh, font size go to 20. I forgot to do that. So font size here. Oh, sorry. Font size goes to 20. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we done that part. Next, let's go to uh, next. You, you notice right here is called merge and center. And we want to do the same thing for A3 to E3. So you select A3 to E3. Okay, select that one. Then uh, we need to uh, merge and center. Okay, so merge and center is right here. After the merge and center, and you want to uh, bold it. Mm, bold is right here. Okay, now we continue right now. Okay. Uh, we are uh, we are going to go, go to step six right now. So uh, step six here, uh, let's focus on like a B, uh, sorry, it's like a B4, B4 to E4. Uh, you can hardly read anything of this. The reason is the font size and background color is the two you cannot read. So you have a dark background, you need to have a lighter color. So what we're going to do is we're going to select uh, the e B4 to E4, B4 to E4. All right, first we're going to centralize them. Okay, 
once we center them already then we're going to go to four color right here so so that here is a color right here but instead we want to change the white color white color white color okay so we're going to check white color right here all right so that mm, look much easier to read right now okay mm. all right so we've completed this step six and let's go to step seven now we see a7 to e7 okay so a7 to uh so look like this is like um white and gray white and gray so um so here okay we have the a7 to e7 we have this color but we don't have it's white so we we are going to form it but that takes several steps the easy easy way is this if you can click on form a painter once you click on form a painter right here then a small brush come with you and you just highlight this all right you click some other place now uh format painter will take your whatever formatting and print with you all right so let's continue right now so let's go to a11 to a12 <clears throat> so a11 to a12 okay so these are kind of so like summary thing and summary thing what we usually uh we usually want it to be um catch attention for the user so we want to be italic so mm, italic is help the you know help you to make a user pay more attention on that uh not only that not only that i need a button double a border okay so that's come right here right now all right and let's look for uh button double border like this one okay button double border okay all right so we got that mm -hmm. now we are going to do this the fill color is the bucket okay the fill color is the bucket all right so a11 to e12 oh sorry i made a mistake a11 to b12 the whole thing okay so uh we are going to go to the button double border the whole thing then the fill color right here we are going to go to the fourth column right here and the second row so we want to go to blue gray text to lighter 80 percent lighter 80 percent that's a color we see like all right we complete this we want to continue right now okay so there's a way there's a way uh to catch more attention let me see what else i need to hear okay so um okay now we are going to continue right here all right so let's go to uh b12 to e12 b12 to e12 okay b12 to e12 okay so right now the b12 to e12 and i wanted to make sure um the grade a better grade than higher than the average um to catch attention so what we need to do is we come in right here and we are going to do this is um conditional formatting okay so the conditional formatting here we want to do the highest uh, cell rule and that's use greater than and notice that um, actually office has ai they know the average is 17. and then you want to light red fill with the dark red text so this is also ai they sort of tell figure out what color will make it stand out so you'll hit okay so these two grades are better gray so um so she can uh notice oh okay these two are better than average gray so she don't doesn't need to pay too much attention on that all right let's go c14 right here c14 here uh the day here we we want to use the more uh the one we use uh uh 
most uh most common one is the short date. Oh, let's use the short date. You know. All right, so let's go C fifteen right here. Uh, C fifteen here. Uh, point A is not the easy way to see that's a a a percentage. Instead of uh, we use a percentage sign here. Okay, so let's do a percentage sign here. Uh, once we do that, all right. So uh, we don't have that small point. So that's already we already have uh, no disappoint uh, that small point. That's good. Let's go uh, to uh, E ten. E ten. We need to put a uh, score uh, fifteen right there. Okay. So you press type a number inside there. Then once you type a number right there and row eighteen, and we don't need it. Okay, because uh, she already complete, so you just hit uh delete, uh and delete uh uh row, okay, all right. So we delete that one right now, okay. So uh continue. We are going to hmm. All right. So we before we do any sheets, we always need to go uh. Uh, check out spelling, okay, and that's on the review. Go review, and uh, then you check on the spelling. All right, so good to go right now. All right, so um, right now she want to check uh the requirement for the train the trainer certificate in the workbook. So we're going to go to right here. Uh, uh, we are going to. Uh, for in this workbook, go to certificate certificate requirement. Okay, so go to certificate requirement right here. Uh, notice right here, she wants you to change this. Uh, you know the credit CR CR here. She you know don't we don't want all the time is a uh, uh, shortcut. So go back to home right here, and we want to find it right here. Okay, and find a CR type C. R. C R. All right. So you want to replace by credit. All right. So you just say replace all. When you finish, they are two replacement. Hit OK right now. All right. So we done for this one right now. We notice the credit is already being changed. That's great. But we are going to do something else right now. Uh, we go to B three to C eight. Okay, B three, B three to C eight. All right. Notice the number is very very small. The smaller number we usually want to show the decimal point, so to make it more precise. All right. So right here we want the decimal point uh to one. So that's in increase it. Okay. So we're going to <coughs> then. We're going to have a number here. Then we're going to uh, increase the decimal point. So one decimal point. So it's more precise right now. Once we have a decimal point here, and we want to do something here. Uh, notice something here. Um, this uh, bar here. It's called data bar. So the requirement is eight. Um, if the trainer finish three point five is Almost halfway, so visually the bar is easier to to tell the uh, trainer you are a little bit halfway. A you just finish a quarter of this, okay? Um, if a four you don't do anything, there's no bar at all, okay? If six you complete whole thing, the there's a full bar right here. So we're going to practice bar right now, okay? So. Uh, we are going to uh go to um B six to C six, okay? So B six to C six. Sorry. Uh, B six to C eight. My fault. All right. So uh no, sorry. B six to C six. Okay. All right. So right here. And we also want to do the condition format, but we're going to do a data bar. At the data bar here, we want to do grid 
a uh, gradient fill. So let's pick a gradient fill. Add a gradient fill here. We want to do blue. So make sure it's gradient fill blue. Let me double check. No. Oh, that's great. Gradient fill blue data bar. So we see like select that one. All right. So uh, no, I want you notice. Um, you know, so requirement is is four. The requirement is four. Then uh, so uh, current. I did not do anything. I did not do anything. So that's why I don't have data bar. Doesn't mean you know I made a mistake. Just I don't have that data bar. All right. So next we want to do this. We we wanted to move these sheets. Uh, to the last sheet. So what we do is we click on these, and you will see a small page pop up. And I'm going to move until you see a small tiny triangle, and you then you will move this sheet to here right now. All right. I hope that completes this assignment, and I hope you uh like this assignment.